Many idealists have tried to change the world. Many Epicureans have wallowed in its eternal orgies. Many skeptics have criticized everything. Many empaths have worried hysterically. Many cynics have taken advantage of the situation. Many dreamers have seen their dreams go up in smoke. Many realists have seen all their beliefs dissolve. Many mystics have seen the grim realism of worldliness bring them down to earth. What matters in the end is whether people are for or against development. Residual negative inflated self-righteous break pads sit like a clog in humanity's collective intelligence and strategy for life. Humans stand in the way of our sacred destiny to create life and evolve. Backward people are death personified. They are the destruction of everything beautiful and meaningful. They are everywhere as in a zombie apocalypse. They are an incarnation of the inevitable end. But they are also a necessary obstacle for the living wise souls to learn to overcome and rise above these problems. Life must learn to defeat death or the light in the universe will go out. The enlightened must use these dead souls as stepping stones to heaven. A bit like in democracy, where you let human incompetence and ignorance form the body of society and let their uneducated ignorant opinions set the agenda for human society. So that the woke can ride that crap wave and shoe themselves. Likewise, the spiritual elite must ride the zombie cast through the fumes and smoke of hell toward the eternal light. but in this case for a good purpose and not to feed their own senseless egoism. You must be silent, you must not say anything to those around you if you want power. They will go against you if they perceive that you have the slightest self-love and self-respect. but you have to play a game for the sake of development. This life is not pleasant. It is not nice. Physical life is only about suffering. Those who are wise know that. So they strive to quickly develop and reach liberation. Your silence prevents you from arousing the slave's hatred towards you. It's not wrong to be pragmatic in this situation. It's not stupid to be dishonest when the odds are unfair. It is not wrong to be self-centered when you are in the total absence of egoism. Only you free yourself. No God, no other human or anything else will do that. And when you are reunited with the meaning of life, you rest in eternal life and unlimited power.